In the highlands of Raselwyd in Tunisia's south, this whitewashed cave house known as a troglodyte dwelling was built by an Amazigh family in the 1940s. Their descendants, Jezi and El Hedi, are a retired couple who still live here. This key is very old. It dates to 1942 or 1948. The design of the house, built directly into the mountain, creates natural air conditioning. When it's cold outside, here it's warm, and when it's hot outside, here it's naturally cool. Jezia works with wool to create bornous, a traditional warm cape. I learned to do this when I was young. We buy coats, but this method is better. At least it's 100% wool and keeps you warm. It's an Amazi tradition to do this all by yourself. This ancient Amazi tradition is at risk of disappearing since the couple's children left this traditional way of life behind long ago. They moved on because of a lack of local jobs or infrastructure. Nearby, another village in the mountains lies completely abandoned. Over the years, many families have migrated to cities. We meet Khadija and Tatooine. She still uses age-old techniques to make margoum, patterned rugs traditionally made for Amazigh weddings. The patterns on the rug come from the tattoos our grandmothers have. The eye protects us from temptation. The fish, this pattern, which represents chastity. Khadija sells her rugs at fairs and passes on her skills to other women of the family. Knowledge about traditional wedding clothes, jewelry, and the Amazigh language which she speaks. Is it? Let me Yes. This handing down of tradition by family is the only way to preserve a neglected heritage. In other North African countries like Algeria or Morocco, the Amazigh-speaking community is bigger, so the state recognizes and appreciates the identity. They even teach Amazigh in certain schools. But here we're really a minority, there's no effort. In recent years, civil society groups and social media have helped raise awareness of Amazigh ways to other Tunisians. Miriam is counting on this visibility to spark a revival of troglodyte houses. She's hoping to